Hey guys! So coming to you uh, with a tutorial today on Design Space and the iPad and how to curve text because right now on uh, the iPad and on the app on your phone which are whether it's iOS or Android you can't there's no function there to curve text so I'm gonna show you how to do that so let's get started so first thing you want to do you need to have an app to bring the text in curved and so I'm gonna be using Fonto so the first thing you want to do if you don't have it you want to go to the App Store and you want to go to Fonto and that's P-H-O-N-T-O -O. and then text on photos so mine says open because I already have it if you didn't it would say get like these do and you just want to choose the photo text uh, Fonto text on photos and you would click get and then it would download but we're gonna just open it since I already have it so when you open it this is what you'll see and so all you want to do is click on the camera and we want to click plain images and if you guys can hear my sons, I'm really sorry. You just want to click uh, this plain white background. You want to click this right here and click on use. And that brings in our white background. So all you want to do is tap on that and add text will pop up for you. So let's just click on add text. And we're going to use the word player. Then I'm going to click done and it brings in player. Let's go to style so I can change the color. I'll make it black and this shows you right here what it's going to look like. So then I click done. All right, so if I'm not clicked on anything, you notice add text will come up if you wanted to add another word in. Um, but we just want to click on this and it's going to bring in these this box and it has text font style size tilt and move in there and then to go to the next one you see how it has the arrow you just slide over and when you slide it over curve 3d erase and this um, icon here which shows double which is the duplicate we don't need that so we just slide over and click the trash can ask you if you want to remove it and you just click remove so now we're back to our player right here we'll tap on it we're gonna slide over and go to curve and just like how it is when you go into design space you have this ball here so you can go this way to curve it up or you go this way to curve it down all the way into a circle if that's what you want you see click on it go to curve to bring it back and wherever it's good for you and for me okay right there we got player if you wanted to bring in like another word I'm gonna bring in player again Let's bring that in. Slide over to your curve. Maybe you want to do it like that. And however you want it to look, you need it to um, look like that before you go in. Maybe you want to do something like that. Play a player. You know? But it's up to you. But this is how you do it. And I don't need that. I just wanted to show you guys. So just click on that. And it's gone. So we have our player. So now, just want to click on your button here. Alright. Save it as a PNG. And now we're just going to go into Design Space, 
click on design space click on upload select from your photo library as you can see it's saved in there and it brings you here to the cleanup and all you're going to do is click remove click there so we can make that background transparent and if you want to you just bring it in I find that the closer that you can get uh, the easier it is to clear out those spots tap right there and you see that one opens you can move this over tap the R and as you see here you see there it's clear so we're going to go to next and we don't need to refine anything and we're saving it as a cut image just give it whatever name you want there they go making noise again click on that light is acting a little crazy. Sorry about that guys. Alright, so I'm going to click on that. Insert it. Alright, and it brings it in here. Curve just like it was. You can adjust the size to whatever size you want. And now you have your curved word. You can, you know, whatever it is that you want curved, you can put it in there. And there you have it. If this is all you want, and you say you just want to put this on something, you just go to make it. Click it here, wherever you want it to go on your mat move it around whatever you want to do and then you just make it from there uh, if you were doing it on you know heat transfer vinyl flip it the other way and there you go so let's go back to the canvas so now you know how to uh, curve your text so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave it in the comments below and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to get those notifications, don't forget to click that bell so that whenever I post up new videos, you will be notified. All right. Have a beautiful day.